area. Would you welcome into the arena with her dog Teasel, it's Lucy Creek. <laughs> Dylan Making Waves is the name of the dog. And it's a beagle, that's the kennel clock name, nine years old. And uh, she's going to put, well, now we perhaps understand the outfit. She's performing to Alice in Wonderland medley by the Walt Disney Music Company. So uh, Lucy and Teasel, let the music start. No time to say hello, goodbye. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. No, 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 I'm overdue. I'm really in a stew. No time to say goodbye. Hello, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. And I never, never, ever do a thing about the weather, for the weather never, ever does a thing for me. Forward, backward, inward, outward, come and join the chase. Nothing could be drier than a jolly caucus race. Backward, forward, upward, inward, bottom to the top. And never a beginning, there could never be a stop. Up to the fancy free him day. A tall little tomorrow, but he'll finish yesterday. Round and round and round we go until forever more. And I, I have to say, folks, that obviously Border Collies and Working Sheepdogs are very, very popular in all the activity sports. That fast turn in a sixpence, 
quick to learn and, and retain learning. Do you know what a, a joy it is to see? There's lots of different breeds competing in Who Works Music and in other disciplines, but to see a dog perform to that standard, who is actually a beagle, which we don't normally see in the ring, it just is tremendous. And it's not because beagles can't do it, it's just that it's bred into them for their job they did in the, in the previous lives that they would do and take the time and sniff round and do whatever. But she's done, been one of the most successful handlers to get a beagle to train like that. So she's done really well. We're really pleased to see that great routine. And be interesting to see what the judges mark that up as well. Certainly for accuracy and execution of moment, uh, movement, she had it pretty well nailed. And, um, and he says the dog should work in a happy and natural, willing manner. And I don't think there's any doubt that happened as well. So we're just going to wait for the results now. And then, uh, in fact, I can't wait to see how that goes. Don't forget, if you can't make it to join us in here in the Genting Arena at Crofts 2015, it's all been streamed live on the Crofts YouTube site. So go in the Crofts website. There's a link through to it there. It'll give you the program on there of what's in, the, on the, in this arena all day long. And you can go in and watch what you want. We've got... Here we're to music tomorrow. If you're not with us, we've got international freestyle the day after, and on Sunday night at 7:45, we've got Mary Ray's here we're to music routine, or I should say freestyle routine, in this arena going live, and that will be available on the live streaming as well. I, swear, I won't say that uh, Mary Ray's routine is a routine this year; it's more like a production, so you mustn't win it, you mustn't miss it, I should say. Right here we go. Let's see how she's got on with Lucy Creek and Teasel. 8.6, 8.2. Oh, it's a 6.4, 23.2. Accuracy, seven, eight. Another eight, so we've got three eights, another six. It doesn't matter, though. The judge is obviously working to where she wants to be. So she's marking, they're all getting a lower sort of figure off her. It doesn't matter, it's who comes at the top in the end. So I give a round of applause, 22.47. Into second place. Well, that's not to be sneezed at. Into second place. Lovely routine. I think she's coming back with another routine later. Now, would you like to welcome into the arena with a border collie, Christine Oxenby.